In this video, I want to go ahead and create that combo box that I was mentioning in the previous one. So what we're going to do is head over to where we draw our menu related stuff. I want to put it above our, uh, our button list. So I'm going to do it in here. So I'm GUI combo. So now we have the label for it, the current item, the array of items, and the count. So then I don't know what that last one controls, but I'm not worried about it because it already sets itself to negative one. So the label. Let's do a combo box test. Then the current item. So we need to pretty much have our cells int active combo console combo item. Set that equal to zero. Oops. Then the next parameter, which is an array of items there. So let's do const char uh what name? Console visibility options. It's gonna have two. Uh first one's gonna be so or hide console window. Second one's gonna be show console window. Let's copy that. Paste that in for the next param. Then the item count, which in this case is just gonna be two. And let's see where it complains. Yes, it wanted you to be a pointer. So here's our combo box. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like without hopefully breaking anything. And guess what? We broke something. Yay. So I got to drag my <laughs> menu out to the side. But pretty much it's the current item was a null pointer. So I had to drag that back over. So where is it? This guy right here was pretty much it's what threw the exception. So we have a total of two elements. Almost questioning is if our active, I remember I had an issue. I've only done this once before. Uh, I'm trying to think. I really don't think you would start from zero, but you may. Let's check. Yeah, no, that's not the issue. So that means it is something regarding me. The no, what would you be? Let me double check real quick. I know I'm missing something dumb. All right, yeah, I knew it was something dumb. So, active console combo item, it's not a pointer, we just want to pass in the address of it. I can press the right key. So, now when we run it, we are met with this screen right here. Here's a little drop down, we can choose either or. Like so. So now we want to add some functionality to it. Hopefully you actually restart and not just end. Okay, you do. So now we want to add some functionality to it. So based off of it being changed, so we're going to do a check. So if for the combo box, see out combo test. So I want to make sure my Command prompt is visible, or my, yeah, my uh, command prompt is went, yeah. Console window is visible for this, so I'm going to comment out where we hide it. Give it a test and see where it actually fires. And it is still hidden, isn't it? We got rid of all that control. Do anything with show window? That's it. We are not calling show console anywhere. Nope. So you should show your console window. Okay, fine. Let's change you to SW underscore show. Maybe that might be why. Okay. So I select the console, change it. 
can see each time I change it, something happens. So it's kind of like an event. So what we want to do is each time in this combo, when this fires, we want to get the index and check it. So we know that the first index, so if combo uh, active console combo item is zero, we're hiding. If it's one, we show it. So pretty much if, or better yet, because it's an integer, well, nah, probably, yeah. I'm going to go this route in case we ever add any more options, even though there aren't any more to add. So if active console combo item equals zero, or better yet, let's do a switch. So switch active console combo item case zero. We're going to do show console false because we want to hide it. And then we break case one show console, pass in true, and break, because we want to make it visible. So, like so. Now let's run it. Console window is hidden by default, so I hit show. It's still visible. Hide it. It hides. Show it. Hide it. Show it. Hide it. It's working as intended. So now by default, because we have it set to uh, hidden. Right here, we're going to go ahead and make sure that's set to sw underscore hide. So it's hidden by default. Run it. And here we go. So team visible, it's all working. Pause it, resume it. Go to the console window if we have any output we want to see. Hide it. Whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, let's just give that a better name and we will call it a day. So um, or console window visibility. And that does not fit. But as you can see, holy scaling. It still works as intended. There's obviously some cleanup that could be done. So, but anyways, we are good to go. We now have that uh, toggle for our menu. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it because uh, we're pretty much at the end of the series because there's nothing else for me to really show because like that's literally it. That was the entire purpose of this series. There's anything else you can do, you can do it effortlessly. You want to draw a box instead of snap lines? Well, great. Go ahead and create a draw box function. Draw your four lines around the box. You already have your uh, your points that you need, so you could just yeah, like there's not much else. You would just get the uh, origin point, which would be the current end, so the entity's origin. Then you would get the bone location of the entity's head, and that would be the top, so you would pass in two vec twos. You would border screen both of those. And then after that, you would want to just take those points, subtract, and add on the y, or on the x axis of both the head and the origin part, or the origin uh locations, coordinates, whatever you want to call them, and then go straight up from the bottom for the last two lines to connect them, so that would be your box. And that's that's literally it. It's very simple. So I'll probably end up doing a tutorial on that actually afterwards. Well, maybe in the next video or two. Yeah, I don't know. It's simple. If you request it in the com request it in the comments if you want to see how to make a box. It's it's straightforward. Anyways that is going to be it. So we now have our little I'm GUI set up for all of our options. We're drawing our snap lines for the cheat. We have the basic options that we want working and good to go, all using GLFW, Glue, I'm GUI, and OpenGL. And we're drawing with legacy GL, as you can tell. Keep it nice and simple. And that is it. So again, if you want to see how to uh, change the snap lines out to a box just request that in the comments below and i'll make a video if more than like three people rec or ask for it i'll do it but anyways uh, i'll be posting this entire project up to git so you can pull it actually that's a small product so i'll build it i'll actually just have it dedicated in my discord so if you want to download this join my discord there will be a channel dedicated to this series so you can do whatever with it and enjoy uh, yeah.
That's everything I can think of. So, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I created a Team Deathmatch tutorial series just for my Patreons, and UE4, Unreal Engine, and C++. And like I said, if you have any questions or anything like that, you want to download this project, you can join my Discord down in the link with the link in the description below, and have at it. So, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be.